Disgraced NRL player Todd Carney has said he's sorry for the lewd photo that saw him sacked. The 28-year-old says he feels sick of the incident and let down by his club. Todd Carney breaking his silence on that photo. I didn't know that was out there. Um, didn't know that it would ever surface like this and to, uh, to receive the message on Saturday night was just, it was gut-wrenching and it, it was just, yeah, it made me feel sick straight away. While we can't show the image in full, Carney is shown 10 days ago in a men's toilet appearing to do something few people would even think about, let alone do. I guess what everybody wants to know is why did you do that? Oh, it was, it was just a prank. It was, it was, the boys have seen me muck around doing it before. I didn't, didn't think there was, a, there was a photo going to be taken. The man who took the photo says he only sent it to his brother, whose phone was stolen, the image posted on social media. I accept what I've done was wrong. I should never have sent the photo at all or even taken the photo in the first place. But none of this, I never would have wished this upon anyone, especially Todd. He was, he was a really nice person. By last night, Cronulla had torn up Carney's five-year, $3 million contract, he says, without proper consultation. I felt betrayed and lied to there, but it's not the first time. And it's not the first time the Dally M winner has been in trouble. In 2006, a five-year licence suspension for drink driving. In 2007, a suspended jail sentence after being involved in a police pursuit. Sacked by the Raiders the next year for breaking an alcohol ban. A suspended sentence in 2009 after a car crash. In 2010, allegations he injured a man by setting his pants on fire. Followed by another drink driving conviction in 2011. Sacked by the Roosters later that year for breaking an alcohol ban. And now sacked again, the third strike. I just hope that this is an end of me as a footballer. It's definitely not going to end me as a person. I'm, I'm stronger than that. Brett McLeod, Nine News.